Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Jaco here, and today I have another YouTube video for y'all, and this is my uh, NBA 2K20 wishlist. Um, obviously, I could wish for a lot of things, and I could go on forever, to be honest, because 2K has been, um, honestly been disappointing. They got a little bit better from 2K18 to 2K19, but they still got a lot to work on. And uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. So first off on my list is... Um, my career you know i mean there's a lot of casual 2k players out there that uh play my career i i used to enjoy playing my career myself but now there's too much story to it you're not rock star you're not <laughs> like you're not any sort of company built to make a story anymore i mean the last time we had a decent story was 2k16 then we got b fresh and i think it's pretty much where that ended was 2k18 was when we couldn't skip cutscenes and we couldn't do all that we finally got skippable cutscenes this year but i mean they were still um i didn't even watch a single cutscene and there's still way too many cutscenes walking into the locker room out of the locker room uh, press conferences all that i mean we don't really care about the story i like uh being able to progress on my player maybe media wise but it doesn't even affect anything at the end of the day it gets you some team chemistry which honestly you don't need and it gives you some fans which once again you really don't need because uh, you'll get all your contracts and stuff from just playing the my career game and i want high school i want college back and you know i want uh rookie mode back um you know the higher difficulty you play on the better a badge progression and rep progression not just rep progression but um yeah it's pretty much all i got for my career so i got a couple few more ideas but i don't want this video to go on forever next better hair customization at the start of the game for free um one big problem is you could have multiple characters and none of the clothes switch over from character to character even with limited time clothing which is 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 stupid like we shouldn't waste 50 grand of vc or even more i know people that spend way too much vc on clothes but i mean hey it's a game so why not um but yeah why that isn't um on multiple players is kind of stupid especially like i said with limited time clothing we could never see that clothing ever again after we delete that player that had it on you know and you know that's kind of upsetting and the hairstyles need to be better and uh get frosted tips and stuff like that they have frosted tips in 2k18 but then they just took it out god knows why but you know i don't know um i don't want a neighborhood unless there's less lag and there's some sort of idle kick out delay like you'll see kids in the park that have been sitting there for hours and they will not get kicked out for idle um that's one thing i wish there was to get 18 um they made it just park they didn't make it my career they didn't put any of the stores in the park there was separate servers which was pretty cool but then they made it all one big park and um that's where a lot of lag came in and people being idle so you can't get games and i'll get to can't get games uh later on in a little bit one thing i like the clothing stores but make it convenient for us too like in gta if you guys don't know you can buy ammo from your interaction menu um from your inventory in your action menu you don't have to go to ammunition or the gun store to get every little bit and i don't have to go to some big long menu to switch a hat or a mask or glass or something there's like little small menus where you can do that stuff very quickly outfits and stuff i mean i would like outfits that'd be really cool saved outfits but um yeah unfortunately we don't have those kind of things so that's why it's on my wish list and uh number 11 or sorry what am i talking about this isn't number 11 um but next on the list is uh game testers better game testers because something that was in the game for months and months and months was pushing yes everyone was affected by this whether it was positively or negatively if it if it affected you positively and you pushed a lot it at one point affected you negatively and it, it was a terrible terrible exploit that unfortunately i don't know what the game testers thought they go oh you know what i just got uh, shoved by a glass cleaner for um all the possessions and i didn't have a single um bit of chance on defense but yeah let's keep it in the game you know being a smart ass and being sarcastic but that's honestly like that i don't know what was going through their heads like it was better at the start of the game when you could still get a foul for it but then they took the fouls out and then made it even cheesier like that made no sense to me but hopefully game testers this year can test like you know can actually know what they're doing and actually enjoy and play and like the game like i wish we had um youtubers or some sort of community day well, what they do but to test the game and go give their opinions and actually make changes on them and not go oh pushing's in the game and it's terrible and they'll go okay let's make it worse and 
lasted a few more months but that made no sense to me and another um another thing on the list is uh two squad spots and or like um a bigger not a bigger park but a smaller park where more people can be in because the neighborhood like i said 50 people can be sitting outside the rec center the uh, gatorade facility and not be playing games that's why we got to either kick them for idling or just make it park just park and two squad spots because there could be one amateur on one side one and amateur on the other and then squad spots are already taken and you want to play with your homies like you want to run threes with them and i understand it's quite a bit of struggle um but one thing they did for youtubers this year is had them kick off spots they're the only ones that can get games consistently and i understand that because they are kind of um, a big deal in the 2k community in a way for the videos they make and stuff which i don't blame them it's fun making videos i love it too but um next uh better wheel spins one thing they did add was the wheel and one thing that doesn't make any sense to me is if I had a Nike contract, I could still get Jordan shoes and I would not be able to even equip the shoes because of my contract. Now, one thing I was thinking, maybe it only be VC or like pick the clothing options that you can get. Like um, the bonus honestly could have been a lot better. It's some really small spot in the, in the wheel and it's only for VIPs. It's a cool thing. Don't get me wrong, but I wish there was a better chance of you getting a bonus. And like, I wish there was more VC and more my points to uh, obtain instead of random my court stuff, random clothes that I'm never gonna wear, random shoes that I can't wear because of my contract that I signed. And you know, like uh, better my points, not make it four or 5,000, make it 10, 15, 20,000. The higher rep you get, the more my points and VC you should be able to obtain uh vc should be cheaper as well as uh players they shouldn't be two hundred thousand each fifty dollars per player is insane like i have uh three players i didn't pay vc because i may or may not have done the glitch um perhaps 2k for never really patching that but uh yeah that, that was a good thing but vc should be cheaper as well as the players they should be around 100k i mean at the very minimum or maximum 150k vc and that's tops like there's no reason why i should be paying 50 dollars per player even though i just paid for the game 60 dollars. i paid 60 dollars for the game and i had to spend even more money yeah i know microtransactions that's what this game's all about and i know that's how they make a lot of money and i know they'll never ever listen to me when i say make che players cheaper they'll never listen to anyone that's just the way it goes for them but anyways on to the next one park affiliations and rep rewards this goes without saying park affiliations made it a little bit more fun a little bit more competitive in the park rival days and like um events at special parks you got more vc if you were playing in a different park you got more uh rep for playing in a different park you got to you got to rep a team a logo a family it was really cool and for rep rewards um for overall rep rewards and park rep rewards because um one thing i was watching a stream earlier is like someone on their 99 grind and they're like you know i've been on my 99 grind for like months now and i feel like i should have gotten some type of reward from playing three four thousand games of park but he's got nothing of course but i think there should be like at one point uh you should be getting park and overall rep because at one point you're taking so long at your overall rep you get nothing from park but maybe even it out so like every two weeks you rep up and every two weeks you get um an overall rep up and the great rewards great amount of vc because we need more vc because double vc at 96 overall to be honest is useless because at 96 overall people already have hundreds of thousands of vc that they're not going to spend and if they will spend it, it's going to be on one player and you know they already have more way more than 200,000 uh vc to cover for that and next off ball speed boosting this is probably the biggest exploit next to pushing that needs to be patched not only stretch bigs but sharpshooters and uh glass cleaners they can do the off ball cheese um not just the xx and stuff but uh the emo cheese where you click i believe like down on the d-pad and you just you're zooming and not even a lockdown can keep up with you and you make one good move you're wide open and you're green in the shot every single time um yeah i don't really know why that's in the game um they could fix it easily or they could just make it like um maybe uh you're farther back on the uh three-point line or i don't know 
there's plenty of ways that they could figure out how to fix that because stretch bigs a seven foot man going faster than my pure slasher with 80 some speed with boosts on i mean that makes no sense i mean uh most lockdowns can uh, keep up with that but not all the time you know it's um it can be hard i mean i take quite a bit of pride for my defense but that's one thing that a good defender like me cannot guard with uh, with my badges and all of that and yeah i understand stretch bigs make uh contested shots that's that's fine by me i know i'm gonna contest your shot but if you're speed boosting all that I, it's it's really difficult and everyone could say so too and and especially since the uh, guy inbounding the ball can't move and you get stuck on um the people standing there inbounding the ball i can get really annoying and that's one thing that was a huge problem and finally this is the most important thing that i got from this year uh before the jump shot pass um patch sorry uh you could use a guard um quite casually and still be pretty good i know shot contest was a little bit broken yeah like if you were under 6'3 you were you had no chance of contesting a stretch big and that's one unfortunate thing but guards cannot get open like at all you have to set the biggest screen it's hard to get open on a guard now you get contested from the free throw line it's ridiculous and one thing to um fix that in my opinion is to either make this guard stamina quicker or um longer um with gatorade boost maybe guards should be the only players to get gatorade boost um that could be a little bit controversial i understand but little guys should be able to move faster and longer than the seven foot stretch bigs that are contesting them from god knows where and i know uh guards can get better ankle breaker animations and stuff and get a little bit open off an ankle breaker but if you're a shot creator and you only have like silver ankle break you're not always going to get an ankle breaker and you can't get open because you're getting contested from way too far away the wingspans and like stuff on the stretch bigs you can contest them from way too far away i played at a guard as a guard in the beginning of the year and i had to delete him because it is so hard to get open on guard. i know people can get open on a guard i know it's possible but it's so ridiculously hard to get open on a guard and they made him useless like you uh you get blocked all the time now you get contested so much easily with the jump shot patch that mike wayne put in the game which was a good thing it led to stretch bigs if you were bad stretch big taking bad shots you weren't really making them anymore which was a good thing but it butt fucked the guards completely if you are six i want to say six seven or under you get contested way too much and you're not fast enough and you don't have enough stamina to get open and that's what really really sucks and if you can't get ankle breakers then i mean you put your yourself and your team at such a disadvantage like six eight shooting guards used to be the shit but now they get contested way too much so now it's all stretch bigs and rim protectors because people can you know contest it from way too far away and that brings me to another thing uh archetypes uh need to be able to do their archetypes at best like I see lockdowns greeny from the corner more than I mean I can make a wide open dunk on my slasher sometimes. It can be kind of ridiculous and one badge that gives the lockdowns a huge advantage is the bruiser badge. You bump into them and then you're out of stamina. Defense and stamina like go so out of hand. Like you bump into someone, you're out of stamina. And I mean, as a slasher, if I'm about to get a blow by, I feel like sometimes a player might get an unfair like bump on me and then i have to like bounce back and stuff like i feel like one thing that uh i noticed at the beginning of the year it was really easy if the person that was guarding you wasn't really um in front of you and you can go to their right or left half and beat them at that half and then go in for a layup or a dunk but now i feel like if you're not a guard build and not super fast or whatever or um you're not a lockdown you can't really get around people that you should be getting around like i feel like on my slasher i got bronze bruiser but i can't really get the blow by animations i should be getting even though i'm beating my defender even though i'm in front of him you know i get bumped and then you know i just get bounced off the sideline that i have to pass out or try and do another dribble move which lowers my stamina and lowers the chances of me even making the shot plus even getting by to my defender so i think stamina was a huge 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 issue in this game it goes for guards it goes for everyone because like post scores i mean like 
you can get bumped by one post score or a lockdown and you're out of stamina uh, like uh lockdowns have hall of fame bruiser and they can get blow buys a little bit better than slash slashers and they can get open even though that's not technically their um archetype like slashers should be able to slash slashers should be able to get ridiculous dunks i understand that but to an extent but lockdowns are getting better um blow by animations on still even great defense but slashers something like this like we're left astray and we can't get the better blow by animations because of our strength and our bruiser badge or maybe i like how bruiser uh, brought into this game it made sense if you were a post score and you were being guarded by a guard you can back them down all the way out of bounds and then make the layup it was possible and i liked that but at some point maybe um pull the chair be a little bit more successful a post score has got to get a little bit more tired or something because uh even if you um are big and you're playing a little guy moving 160 or 200 pounds is quite tiring and i feel like they should have got a lot, a lot more tired from it or maybe like at some point their stamina should go down and then uh, you know they have to do something with the ball pass it out or something maybe i don't know but i think stamina was the biggest issue in this game yeah you can buy stamina boost but that really doesn't do much it, it makes you last longer in the game but i mean if you're playing a park game gatorade boosts are a little too useless because you're not going to get all the way down um uh, stamina wise like you would in a rec game in a rec game you have to have stamina boost so you can last the whole game and score throughout all the quarters no matter how much time there is left through overtime and stuff but in a park game they're pretty much useless unless you're uh, a dribbling build and you want to get open a lot which still doesn't even work out because stamina is so um it's so it's just so useless this year and it was really unfortunate guards had a huge disadvantage if you were 6'4 and you had no um uh can um wingspan you couldn't contest shots you can't make shots now because you're getting contested by way too far away you're not fast enough and you can't speed boost around people and you lose your stamina i think you're gonna miss a shot i mean stamina was the biggest 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 issue in my opinion of this game completely but i mean stretch bigs can do all these dribble moves and not get tired because they're like certain animations and then they shoot over you i get it stretch big should be able to make contested shots but they shouldn't be able to dribble dribble and technically off ball speed boost but uh yeah that's pretty much it for the video guys uh hope you guys enjoyed be sure to drop a like and comment what you think uh you want in 2k20 wishlist um this might be my only video i'm not sure yet i might think of some more stuff some little uh little minor gameplay details like maybe a juke move or a spin i think they uh did confirm the juke move but a spin move maybe off ball would be pretty cool if it wasn't too cheesy or something or if you could catch a defender off guard a uh, spin move would be pretty cool but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed be sure to drop a like and subscribe like i said comment what you think uh if you agree with something or you disagree with something um, i'm all yours so uh yeah see you guys in the next video peace